game, James Cebulski, one of the hottest teams in the NHL, will look to keep their heater going tonight. Just moments away from puck drop, both teams seem ready to go. The Wild have established possession here early in this one as they win the draw. And turns aside the slapper with ease. Oh. Quick pass to McDavid. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And he comes up big with the stick save, getting all of it with the paddle. Well, that shot came quick and it was right out front. He had to be sharp. He'd be right on it and show his brilliant reflexes. Lots of time left in this period. Still scoreless in this one. Michaels won a big draw in their own end. And the puck's knocked loose. And it's a quick pass to Prosser. Hugs the boards through the neutral zone. Puck clears the zone and they'll be forced to regroup. Moves it over to Michael. Great defensive effort with the stick. Feed to the middle. And that Karen's off a twig in front of the net. Now a quick pass to Park. Here we go, on man rush. And that pass goes off a stick. Oh, he has the answer there with a fantastic stop. Minnesota's got the puck after winning the defensive zone faceoff. Knocked him in the open ice. Some players get into the game by physically engaging early. There's a fine line there, but that was executed perfectly. And here's the pass to Smith. On man rush. Shot. And there's the save on the play. The Wild have gained control of the puck along the wall. Koibu's got it across the line. Play is called for offside. Won the draw inside the neutral zone. They'll go to work offensively here. Now over to Kane. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck now. Moves it to the middle. Misses the net. Sends it ahead to Nurse. It's a contact sport, people. There's proof right there. Collision there. He just got railroaded. Close space so fast and just taken down. Turns it away. Well, goaltenders love the butterfly as he drops and slides across his crease. He makes the save. Oh, and he just puts it wide of the net. Sometimes players get into those scoring areas. They try and get a little too cute, and that's a result right there, not hitting the net. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. Just got enough of that one to keep it out. Oh, what an effort giving up the body there. Across the line. Minnesota's got a hold of it along the wall. Quick feed to Champion. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. You have to be quick in your crease if you want to be able to deny low zone shots. He does that perfectly as he's tight to the shooter right there. A blocker off the blocker. And that's a great heads up play in the offensive zone. Into the offensive zone, down the right wing. The Wild have taken possession along the wall. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. Nice feed from the left side up the middle. Ernie's got it along the boards. Moves it to the middle, and that's intercepted. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. Thunderous collision along the boards. Edmonton's got the puck behind the net. He got all of that hit. We cannot lose. You got the type of fight with the mouth to push. The fight that was right by the got to move up the ice over the track. Press the head with the The puck by the man. Past the midway mark in this period. We're still scoreless. And they win the draw on their own end. There he is from the slot. That's blocked. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck. Oh, a devastating check there. Out of midair, he swats it down to the ice. 
And he moves it up to Cullen. Levels him with the hit. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Angles it over to Hyman. The Oilers played along the boards. Takes it to the front. Oh, and it's, here we go. They're dropping the gloves. You knew this was going to come after they hit their star player. Well, if you're going to touch the star players, you're going to have to answer the call. They certainly don't want their top players in a fight. So here they come, the enforcer. And there's the takedown, and I think not a moment too soon, at least with one of these fighters. Yeah, if you're the one that's underneath and on the ice, you want to take your five-minute ticket and march yourself over to the penalty box and get your rest. Silverberg's one-timer is one of the best in the league. That's his 1T zone ability, and you know his teammates will be looking to set him up. Dreisaitl's known for his accurate passing plays. That's his tape to tape zone ability, guys, and it's what makes him effective at distributing the puck. Let's see if one of these players can give their team the edge tonight. I know I'll be watching. Guys, back to you. Here's a short pass to Silverberg. And that goes off a player. Puts it towards the net. Oh, and it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. Trying a physical line here. Moves it to Ryan. Off the post! That's frustrating, James. The score is 0-0. And, oh, what a miss as it goes off the post and out. Feeds it over to Burns. Minnesota's got it in the offensive zone. Routine pass save made by Roy. Sends it quickly to Bouchard. He's only one goal away, James, from his next milestone right here. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Oh, those boards rattled after that hit. Wow. And he's rattled as well, James. I mean, we knew that hit was coming, and then all of a sudden, bell, and he's down for the count. Right up Main Street and on the attack. Oh, what a chance to open things up, but he misses. A huge opportunity to get the first score of the game. You can see the frustration as he looks up at the roof. Moves it quickly over to Stahl. Here in the lake, going to the frame. The game is still scoreless. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. The Oilers are gonna serve two for tripping here. Advantage takes to the ice. It's our first opportunity to get a glance at the special teams unit. An opportunity here to go up by one on the power play. You know they've worked on this in practice. It's something you do, your repetitions. This is what... Oh, up the outside of the frame! A skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Minnesota's gained possession. And he takes the pass. On the attack along the boards. Here's a shot! Big time save! Oh my goodness! Well, throw technique out the window. This time it's all about the competitive will to get to that puck. And these fans are still pressing about what we just saw. What a save that was, Sheriff. Yeah, he made an incredible save and really engaged this fan base. They're on their feet. You know they're right into the game. And listen, when they are showing you that kind of appreciation, you also want to play for them. The Oilers carry it along the wall. Minnesota's got possession of the puck. Grabs the puck here in the neutral zone. And a stiff break set up. Oh, what a blocker stop by Wall! And that shot gets caught in traffic. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Slides it quickly to Kane. A feed out front! Oh, and they couldn't complete that. And now he moves it quickly to Dreisaitl. Sends a pass over. And his twig collapses with a chance there. That's frustrating. You've got the puck teed up, ready to shoot it, and your stick craters on you, and you got to go back to the bench and get a new one. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. 
And that plays offside. We got a face-off coming up. Parks trying to find a way to get back to the bench and not put his team in a vulnerable spot. You can see that he's been injured somewhere on the shift. He's laboring and he's wincing, but he's committed to the play. He's got to find the appropriate moment to get off. Power play set to roll on as the setters get ready for the face-off. They take possession as he locks them up off the face-off. Club save, and he handles it with ease. Nugent Hopkins slides into the face-off dot, and they'll continue to try to kill off this penalty. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. Blocked in traffic. Comes up with a monster save in front. It's amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well. And this time he gets in front of the puck. It's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. Edmonton's killed the penalty. Well, that's just a great sequence of events with that power play unit. The way they were... Well, because they weren't saved by the power there. Now, how's that for momentum? In the last seconds of the frame, you find a way to put it in, and that's going to create a ton of momentum. So now, heading into the next period, you want to garner that momentum and carry it forward. James, this is just an absolute clinic and body position out of roll off your coverage. And it's perfectly executed as he doesn't have much time to get the one-timer off, but he gets a stick available and he executes. The Oilers take a 1-0 lead here in the late going of period number one. This is a huge goal momentum-wise, isn't it? Well, yeah, James, if you score a goal at the beginning of a period or at the end, it really sets the tone and temperature for your team. And it also puts your opponent back on their heels, and that's exactly what you wanted to happen. But now that the game is wide open, you're heading into intermission. So that's going to give both teams an opportunity to reset. you got to find a way to continue to push in that second period. Well, the first 20 is in the box. Let's see what this second period offers. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? Wow, it's been fantastic in the game so far, James. I mean, he's the only reason his team is still in it. Still plenty of time left in this frame. one nothing is where we sit at this point. Offense his own face off and he wins the draw. He might have a step here. He's in all alone. Can't get that one to go. Well, that's extremely frustrating when you do the work to get in on a breakaway and then you get nothing in return. A missed opportunity. And that's some great pressure on the offensive end by Nugent Hopkins. Puck is frozen and we'll get a face off. Minnesota's put a lot of pucks on net. Now they just need to put one past the goaltender, still trailing in the second. Koibu's quick stick off the draw wins possession. And Ross got it in the defensive end. Centering feed! Oh, he comes up with a stop! Koibu's going to have to keep his head up throughout this game. No one liked that play earlier that injured their player. The crowd is frustrated, including the bench. He'll have to be aware when that puck's on his stick. Good use of the body to knock them off the puck. Quick pass to McLeod. Gains the zone through center. Ryan's got it against the boards. Moves the puck. Minnesota's got control of it now from the road end. Quick feed to Silverberg. Scores! He pots his 10th of the season. I think no matter who you are, you come into a season and you apply pressure to yourself, your own personal expectations. I think this number is a nice number for him, James. I think they'll be happy with number 10. Now, well, the key to passing is also knowing the receiver, and he has an uncanny ability to know exactly who he's passing to in the wheelhouse, where they're played, and how they're going to get it off effectively. I mean, he's incredible when it comes to distribution. Well, the youngster certainly showing that he fits in in the league. That's 10 goals now. Yeah, I mean, you're looking at positive production when you look at his numbers, James. I mean, coming into a league as a rookie, there are so many nuances and ways you got to find a way to integrate yourself into the game, and he's doing a fantastic job. With the stop. Covers it up, and we'll get a stoppage in play. 
Silverberg's been feeling it, James. You know who else is feeling it? His teammates. They have been the beneficiaries of a great leader on the ice who's just been distributing the puck and generating a ton of offense. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. Great pressure on the offensive end by Nugent Hopkins. Scoops up the puck now. Passes it to Niederreiter. Great use of the stick at center by Bouchard. Oh, that's a good hit. Scooped up along the wall by Niederreiter. Minnesota's got it against the boards. Along the half wall with the puck. Oh, making his presence felt with a hit. He's a power forward, and part of his game is delivery. He scores! Puts it in the back of the net. And that's going to be career number 100 for him, and that's a milestone. You know that every athlete knows where they are in terms of their numbers, and he hits the century mark. Coaches just love it when unsuspecting players get in on the hunt here, James. They're aggressive on the puck. They're showing physicality and an energy that they don't typically do. And then they retrieve it. When they retrieve it, they've created that turnover and they do something with it. That's exactly what he does here. And he's getting to get an assist for his efforts. Minnesota's message was clear coming into this one. Lots of shots on net. And they lead here in this second. Here's a short pass to Bouchard. Oh, he just got thunderstruck. Well, he did. I mean, closing so quickly. No time and space there and just crushes him. What a hit. Stop that one. Well, he's showing great mobility here as he drops into the butterfly and moves across his crease with ease to make the save. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. Minnesota's got a one-goal lead. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Edmonton's gained the line and into the zone. Blacks it into the offensive zone. Centering Keen! Puck grab by Johns. And he slides it quickly to Michael. And a stick in the lane to flex that one away. Make a change, make a Sends change. it deep inside the offensive zone. Grabbed along the board by Ernie. And just a good old-fashioned solid body check on the play. Some last second communication before both teams get ready to drop the puck here. And they take possession off the draw here at their own end. And Ross moving the puck through his own zone. Nice dish from the left wing. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. Good hit to pump him off the puck. And he loses control here. And he takes the dish. Shot! What a save by Ron! We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. Well, the bench doesn't like this call, James. It's untimely to say the least with that one goal lead. Now, the PK unit, they got to get out there and they got to do a job. Oilers will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. Well, they create a power play opportunity with hard work, and now it's an opportunity to get back in this game, James, finding a way to move the puck quickly and create seams to get shots on net. Oh, he'll feel that one. And he slides it quickly to Kubelik. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by Gostas Bear. And they get the puck out of the danger zone. Directs it on over to Dreisaitl. Takes the puck. They've got an odd man rush here. A shot. What a save. Oh, my goodness. I thought they had it there off the rush. Quick shot. Big stop right there. Kubalik's got to find a way to physically and emotionally engage without his fist change. I mean, you know how effective and how valuable he is when he's on the ice. I mean, look at that scoring chance he just generated. 
Smith's ready to take the draw here on this power play. Collins won the faceoff. A chance to clear. He got all of that one. Takes a shot. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Well, it's been dialed in right from puck drop, James. I mean, he's made the key saves that he's need to make, and it's all about for a tender managing the momentum swings of the game and the timeliness of the saves have really given his team an opportunity. Here's a blast! There's a great save on an excellent chance there. Puck moved back to center, forcing them to regroup. Here's a shot! Stopped by the goaltender. Listen, Jane, the shooter's in the slot. This is as high danger as it can get, and he challenges. He's set, ready to go, in great position, and makes the save as a result. Michael's great in one-on-one -on -one situations against a goaltender. If he gets on a breakaway, he can really turn up the heat using his all-alone zone ability. The other team better watch out. And they take possession after the defensive zone faceoff. Here's a chance to clear the puck from his own end. And they clear the defensive zone. That's moved up ahead. And the puck skips out of the zone. They'll have to regroup. Scores! It's in the back of the end. I think he got it in there, Cheryl. Oh, that is such a deflating goal and a real tough one for him to take. I think he lost sight of it, didn't know where it was, and as he turned around and knocked it himself, oh, that's a tough one to take. expired. We are all tied up in this one. Minnesota's won the draw in the neutral zone. Moves around along the half wall. And he keeps possession. Pass to Nugent Hopkins. The Wild have gained control of the puck in their own zone. From the left side, takes it at center. The Oilers take it along the wall. And that's broken up with a stick in front. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. And he takes the feed. Into the offensive zone. The Wild have taken possession in their own end. Directed over to Michael. And that puck leaves the zone. Minnesota's ready to go on the attack. The Oilers play it along the boards. Here's a chance on the breakaway. And that's off target as it hits a body. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Kubalik. Ahead of steam now towards the front. Shuts him down. Pushes it across to Eckholm. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. They've got some momentum here. Turned aside with the glove by Roy. Here in the late goings of the period, the next goal could be a big one as we are tied. And they win the offensive zone face-off, and here we go. Great read by the goalie as he pokes it away with a stick. Here he is, wrists it on net. Point blank, stop by The goaltender is very aware of where that puck is in that low slot area, and defends his crease by getting out, being aggressive, and taking away any of the net. Was an impressive and actually graceful goalie. He knows how to slide well down to make the save. That mobility is his butterfly effect zone ability. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Nice zone entry on the left side. Fires it into the offensive zone. Kane's taking it from his own end. Moves it to Silverberg. Great save from in tight. As a goaltender, you have to be able to read and anticipate the play. He does it perfectly and is able to negate the shot. Second intermission approaching quickly here. Moves the puck over to Koivu. Quick pass to Kane. Make a change, make a change. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. Blocked away, Boudreaux! 
I really like to save James because he challenges the shooter who's all alone in the slot area. He turns aside a real dangerous opportunity. Takes the shot. Takes the shot. Oh, at the buzzer, a big save. And that concludes the second period of play. Still one more period of regulation time. We'll see what happens in the third next. Stick handling in his own zone. The Oilers gain possession along the wall. Looking for space inside the D zone. With possession along the wall. Huge steal in his own end. They go on the attack from the left side. Feeds it to McLeod. He carries the puck up along the wing. Great reach with the poke check by Suter. Quick feed down low. Moves it quickly over to Hyman. Let's move to the middle. Stars! What a finish on the play! A great placement, but he had to get the one-timer off quickly, James, because he didn't have much time and space in that net front area. You know that they're going to close quickly on you when you find that that puck comes across. with a huge goal here in this third period. Now buckle up and can they hang on? Well, I think it's more than hanging on, James. They've got to continue to attack and they've got to manage the puck. I mean, yes, it's the third period. There's a lot of runway left here. It's only a one-goal game. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. Pushes it across to Burns. Here they come on the attack. The Oilers gain possession in their own end. Drills them. Here's a shot, and he was ready for that one. And it's a quick pass to Silverberg. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. The Wild have possession along the boards. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. The Oilers will play it from the defensive zone. Gaining momentum along the wing. Devastating collision against the wall. Now a quick pass to Burns. From along the boards, moves the puck ahead. And that's picked off in the neutral zone by Nugent Hopkins. Sends it down low. Here's a short pass to Johns. 
And he takes the feed. And he turns that one aside. Minnesota's Achilles heel tonight has been finding offense as they trail here in the third. Michael's got it, and they'll go on the attack here in the offensive zone. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Moves it to Park. And a strong physical collision on the play there. Puck dumped in. Quick pass over to Silverberg. Here they come on the attack down the left side. Offside the call, we'll get a reset. More than half the frame has been played here. The Oilers lead it 4-2. Minnesota's won the draw. Kane's got it along the wing. Quick pass to Kubelik. And that's off the stick. The Wild have the puck against the boards. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Poked away by Leach. Edmonton's looking to break out. Slides the puck ahead to McLeod. And that's intercepted by Koivu. Moves it quickly over to Kane. Minnesota's got it from behind the net. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Leach. Hammers one at the net. Nowhere for that shot to go through. And there's the save. Kane's made an incredible play right there. I mean, he's stumbling. He looks like he's going to fall almost, but he's off balance. And that's the key. The puck isn't exactly where he wants it, but he still manages to find a way to get a shot off. And now he moves it to Suter. Goes full circle with the puck. Solid check to slow him down. Loose puck battle along the boards. And he maintains possession of the puck here. Can't keep a hold of it. There's the whistle as the play was offside. Philadelphia's coming up next on the schedule. And these two teams, doesn't matter where they are in the schedule, where they are in the standings, always a good contest. I'm looking forward to that one. And off the draw, they take the puck. Saucer feed. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. Ross gonna hang on to the puck and get a stoppage in play. Nothing gives confidence to a team more than a big save, and he's been doing it all night, James. Just here in the late stages of this frame, 4-2 is the score. Edmonton's got a hold of the puck. The Oilers have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Handles it along the blue line. Lee's out battling his opponent right now. He is so dialed in, he's trapping the puck, making save after save. It's about time his team starts working in front of him. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. Minnesota's won the draw. And that goes off course off a of body. Works it across to Ernie. Locks him. And he makes the easy save. And Ross lugging the puck. And now he moves it quickly to Johns. Put it on the post. Denies that opportunity. Steps across the line and on the attack down the right side. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. The Oilers will take it behind the net. Here's a pass down low. Ernie's going to play the puck behind the cage. Made that stop. He got all of that one. Oh my goodness, it stayed out. What a save. It was all but in James, and that athleticism and the will to get to that block, that was on display. Minnesota's trailing. That's why they've got the extra attacker out on the ice and the goalie on the bench. 49 seconds to go. Comes up with the stop. Goaltender, they have to have talent, they have to have mobility, they have to be able to track the puck, but they have to have a willingness to find it and fight for any second shot, and that's exactly what happens here. Out battling, out willing, and you make the save. Standing by Carlin Bade with her own thoughts on the head-to-head -head matchup tonight. 
Silverberg's been great at generating offense, and I've been impressed with his game in this one, guys. Puck scooped up by Bouchard. Nurse is picking up steam. Fires into the empty net. Minnesota's gained possession along the boards. The Oilers grab possession with a puck. A shot at the empty net. Can't get it to go. Slip feed. And they'll go the other way with a great play. But a chance to ice it into the empty net. And now it's grabbed by Burns. And he sends it across to Silverberg. Pull the goaltender here, James. They get the extra attacker out, so you have to use the advantage to your favor. That's exactly what they do. They own the puck on retrieval, and they find a way to attack the net. Minnesota's offense and struggles have been the story tonight. Lots of chances, just not a lot of results. Granlin's won the draw center. Handles the pass. Thank you.